Welcome back and okay, today let's talk about kitchen sinks, right? So one of the most important thing in the kitchen, right? You use it every day, right? even you don't use it, right? you see it every day, right? So it is best to get this right. So I have been doing a lot of research and, you know, study a lot of different kind of like sinks and stuff like that. And I have also like asked uh, many people, the contractors, right, uh, my friends, right, and gather quite a bit of information, right. So today I want to share what I have learned, right, so that you don't have to do uh, a lot more of this research again, you know, and when, when it's your time to really do your reno for your BTO or, you know, apartment and stuff like that. So today, let's focus on the types of the kitchen sinks, right out there, right? Not so much about the material. But if you would like to know more about the sink material and stuff like that, right, leave a comment below and I am very happy to make a video just on that, right? So, types of sink, right? Generally, uh, out in the market, there are five types of sink, right, you can find, right? So, each has its own pros and cons. So, it really depends on a few factors, right? So, it will be like, you know, how often you use, right? Your usage, right? The aesthetics of that sink, Right, and definitely your cost, your budget and stuff like that. Right, so all are actually good in their own ways, but the best is the one that will eventually, you know, fit your lifestyle. Okay, let's start off with the most traditional one, and that is the top mount sink, right? Top mount sink. So, okay, so for top mount, right, uh, basically it's the most cost effective, right, and it's the easiest to install, and there's a wide range, right, uh, you know, variety for you to choose. Right, and it is easy to install, right? Simply, you know, just drop the entire sink into the pre cut hole in your countertop, right? And then, you know, do the ceiling and it's done. So, very straightforward, very easy to replace, and definitely uh, cheaper than the others, right? But then, there are some problems with the top mount sink, right? Is that, you know, uh, it is easy, right, for the residue and, you know, whatever kitchen stuff that you're working on to be caught around the edges. Right, so it makes the cleaning harder, right? You know, all those groove lines, all those little little gaps and you know everything, right? And you know, also because when you install the top mount sink, right, it's actually higher than your countertop. Right? So usage wise, then you cannot like sweep the water or the stuff or the crumbs on the countertop into the sink so easily. Right? You need to, you know, uh, scoop it up, put, you know, go over the sink and stuff like that. Right? So cheaper but not as useful, right? Especially for uh, heavy kitchen users, they use it every day, right? They do a lot of cooking and stuff like that, right? Whereas uh, the next one, the other one, right, is the undermount sink, right? Uh, then, in this case, you can sweep everything into the sink easily, right? Because it is actually uh, under your countertop, right? So it's lower than your, uh, it's low, lower than your countertop of your entire sink, lah. And, you know, at the same time, it looks nicer, right? You got a bit of, like, more working space. Right, and there's no like groove line on the countertop, there's no joint line, so it makes uh, cleaning a lot easier. Right? So however, then the undermount sink uh so-called more difficult to install, right? And the hole in the countertop has to match and fit exactly. Right? So it cannot be too big, cannot be too small, right? And you also have to consider uh the countertop material, whether you know they can actually hold the weight of the sink or not. Right, and will there be like, you know, uh, leakage or stuff like that. Right, so installation uh, will become more expensive and, you know, needs to be well thought out to ensure that there's no leakage, right? There's, the hole is just nice, right? There's proper support to hold the sink, right? And also, you know, some undermount sink, uh, you know, when they are not installed properly, right? You have those blind gaps under the sink, right? You know, especially where it actually joins with the countertop. Then have to consider whether it trap dust or not and things like that. But overall, still better looking and probably the most preferred, the most popular one right now. So now you got two things, right? The top mount, you got the under mount, right? All has its own pros and cons. Especially, you know, mainly around the edges and the cleaning, right? So that's really the uh, big difference. But there's another thing that somehow actually combine these two things together, right? Into one, right? It's called the flush mount sink. Right, so meaning that these the sink edges they are exactly and precisely level, right, with the countertop, right, in a way that there's no gap, there's no which one is higher or lower, right, it's very, uh, you know, flat and level, right. Some are even like lasered together to give that seamless, uh, continuous look, 
right? So it's not only just, you know, beautiful, right? But it's super easy to maintain, right? You can sweep, you can clean. There's no worry about, you know, gaps or, you know, things that traps in the groove line, right? Okay, so then what's the catch, right? There's always the catch, right? So, you know, flush mount sinks in terms of like brands and variety, currently they are quite limited. So not a lot of companies are producing this, right? Because of its uh, complexity, the technology and the precision and also like, the installation, the fabrication have to be very, very precise. Right? So that means, you know, at cost right? and in a way also limits your choices. Right? So you can expect that they will definitely cost more than others. And you have to pay more for the aesthetics and the novel technology and the installation cost. So is flush mousing the top of the market choice today? Right? Actually, no. There is something else, and this one is the one that I personally considering to get, right? So what's better than you know laser together sink, super level with the countertop, right? It's already seamless. Can it be even more seamless? Right? Yes, there's something called the integrated sink, right? So the integrated sink simply means that uh, the countertop and the sink. Right, it's all fabricated in one piece, right? It's one single mold, right? You you fabricate this whole thing together. So there's no joint lines at all. The same material is, is exactly the same material as your countertop. Right? So it's truly seamless, right? Yeah, it looks amazing, it looks luxurious, right? If you have marble green countertop, then it will continue into your sink, and then it's like a marble green sink as well. And it is as durable as your countertop material, right? If your countertop is uh, scratch resistant, stain resistant, right? Then your sink will be the same right? and super easy to clean, right? If that's the case, which is exactly why, you know, I was so sold about it and I really want to get it, right? So the only reason that I am still holding back and still considering is that it costs a lot more than the other sinks. I heard it's like, you know, uh, three to four times more than a usual undermount sink. So I have to look at the variety, the range, and also at the overall budget, and then from there decide what to do, whether I want to get it or not, right? The other disadvantage of integrated sink is that uh, if there's any damage to the sink, right, there's cracks or what, there's leakage or what, then you have to replace the entire countertop, right? Because it's one whole piece, man, right? So if you have to change, right, you have to change the entire thing. So any kind of replacement is going to be very expensive right, if anything happened to the sink or stuff like that. So in order to really reduce the risk, right, then it is best like, you know, get the better, if not the highest quality countertop material right, so that it is not so easily damaged. So in this case, right, then you have to invest more upfront and make sure that it lasts a long time. Right? So mm, I am really thinking about it. Right. Okay, so we have covered like four different types of sinks already. The last one is not because that it is even more superior than the integrated sink, but uh, it's more like a whole different type of sink than the rest of them. Right. It's called the apron sink and or you know some people call it the farmhouse sink. Right. So it's unique looking because you can see the exposed side profile of the sink when you install, right? So it can be like top mount, it can be under mount, right? The installation is actually, you know, to slide the sink into the position, right? So when you do the sliding installation, right, then in this case, the measurement, right, the width, the feet, right, needs to be precise, right, so that the sink can go in, right? So the slot needs to be measured properly, right, in order to install the sink. So not the easiest and definitely not the cheapest, right? But I think... Uh, People like it because it's traditional, right? It adds that rustic feel to the kitchen. Right? So if you have like farmhouse team, you have the English country team or things like that, right? Then I think uh, the apron sink definitely can add to it. So there you go, the five different kinds of sinks that you can choose from. So really depending on the practicality, right? And the cost considerations, right? Some will work well for you and some may not work well for you. So for me, it's either like integrated sink or under mount sink, right? I don't think I can do the flush mount sink because the kind of like countertop material that I want, they don't carry or they don't have uh, such a flush mount sink technology and that kind of like installation. But you know what? Stay tuned and I will share once I have decided and you know the revolution has started right then, 
you can see how the thing will be installed. So make sure you click on the subscribe button below and I will bring you along my renovation journey, show you my new home. And until next time, I will see you soon in my next video.